Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today we're going to do an ATC card and it was requested that I do a kind of Christmassy ATC card. So that's what I'm going to try and do. Um, so yeah, so I have my ATC card and the ATC card always is measured three and a half, three and a half by two and a half. Um, and if you're doing this kind of ATC card, that is what it is. Uh, you can trade these, you can sell these. I have uh, many, many videos on the uh, particulars of what an artist trading card is, and you can find it all over the internet as well. I will link them at the end of this video, and let's just get started. Um, if you're new to my channel and you like my video, you want to subscribe? You can click the subscribe button down below and then click the bell next to it. You'll get notified when I upload, which is usually five to six times a week. And I really love if you would uh, subscribe. And yeah, and please just share me everywhere because I enjoy it. So I'm going to try to use uh, the least amount of paint as I can um, because I always get asked when I mention for people who are new to acrylic painting, um, or who do not have a lot of money, I always mention my Roy G. Biv, and that is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then black and white um, as well. So you can get all kinds of uh, colors using those main colors, so you don't have to get much more than that if you don't want. So what I'm going to do is I want to do this background a little gray, um, because doing it white won't necessarily show up. So I'm just taking a little bit, a little bit of <laughs> black. This is pure black from folk art. Get down there, baby. I'm running out. So, oh, I got to get more and more. Oh, I flipped it somewhere. Yep. How to know you were coming out. Okay. I guess I'll, I'll find that later, won't I? So I'm going to do that and just black and white. This is, um, titanium white use, you know, use what you have, use what you have. And I'm going to take a bigger paint brush, um, and I'm going to dip it in the black and then I'm going in. I don't want it too gray and I don't want it too light. And I think that might be just a little bit too gray. Um, I am a dark a person who likes dark colors. So I want the, like I said, the trees to show up, but I think I'm going to go, yeah, like a concrete. Now go on both sides of your brush to make sure the paint is off and it's mixed. See how, I'm, and you can still see a little bit of the black coming out and I'm just going to mix it. And now I'm going in and it's still a little dark, but that's okay. We will get those green trees on there, Christmas trees. <laughs> Christmas tree. Now, obviously, there is some glue on there or something, and it's not letting my paint. I am so sorry. That is my dog. Ugh, he's so itchy. His skin is so dry, and I just don't know what to do. I've tried coconut oil you know, on the patches. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. Or let me know if your dog is dry as well, because it's driving me crazy. It's just not him. It's a couple of the dogs and it is, um, it's just driving me crazy. Okay. So I'm thinking about vlogging, trying to vlog every day in December for Vlogmas. Let me know what you guys think down below about that. If that would be something you would be interested in. Um, you know, they wouldn't be elaborate, you know, elaborate, elaborate, uh, vlogs, but they would be, you know, like check-ins every day and that kind of thing. And if there's enough people that would watch it and be interested, I would do it. Okay. So that's about dry. I'm going to spray some water on there and I want it just so it stays a little wet for me in case I want to use it. So let's see about, let's lighten this up a little bit and do some clouds in the background. Nothing major, just I'm going to put a little bit more white in there because I want the clouds to show up and obviously um, it would need to be 
you know, a little lighter than the sky. And I'm just going in, I'm going to push all this in to get that color. And you see how much lighter? So it's not, it, you know, it looks very light, um, but it's not white. Do you know what I mean? And I could put white on here, but I think it would be a little too stark. Who knows what this is going to look like? And I'm just going to, what am I going to use? Do I want to use this? Where is my other scrunchy brush? I don't know, but I might have to, let's try this one. I'm going to just brush some of this <laughs> white on my scrunchy brush just to see. See how I'm just adding some, my brush is dry and I'm going to add it all over because, you know, some of the clouds and of course go over it and layer if you want more, uh, you know, more of a brighter color, but you see how cool that looks. So you have, and you can do this on anything. It doesn't have to be you know, this color on this, you can do a journal page and do, oh my God, am I the only one? I swear sometimes I'm the only one. Um, you know, you can do this on an art journal page on whatever you want. And I'm just ignoring that little piece of, I don't know what the heck going on there. And if you want these lighter, of course, do a little lighter, but I think that's all I'm gonna, gonna do. Um, I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna put my brush in there for a minute. And I'm gonna give it a quick dry. This dries so fast. These folk art paints are fantastic. And just keep in mind, everything will dry a little darker. Now, if, I'm not gonna do it today, but if your paper starts uh, warping because it's thin or whatever, turn it over, spray some water on it and it, it should flatten out, but it will flatten out by the time everything dries. It's not a big deal. So now comes the trees and I'm going to do a couple of different kind of trees. Um, I think I'm going to use this black, this table needs squeaked again. It was doing so good. I'm sorry. I'm shaking the table. It was doing so good. And then it, it just was like, yeah, no more. I'm going to use a small brush. This is uh, from cube craft. They are on the internet on, uh, Google, uh, not Google, Amazon. You can get them. They sent me a while ago, a bunch of brushes to use. And so I'm going to use this little one just because I like it like that. Now look, use whatever you have. Don't sit and think, Oh, you know, um, use a Q-tip, use a, whatever size brush you have. It doesn't matter. Use the back of a brush. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. But what I think I'm going to do, oh, uh, geez, Cal, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I want to use, obviously I want to use a brown, but I don't want, I think this is going to be too light. And let's see. All right. Here is some maple syrup. So. I'm going to give it a shake. I'm going to cut it open. Now, let me show you. You guys always ask me because I, when I open things on camera, you guys are like, what? I take my scissors. Let me tell you, I can sit and open stuff all day. You just take your scissors. You put it at the bottom of the plastic, the top, and you do like this. And then it opens and it comes right off. Um, does it damage the scissors? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I do it and I've not had any issues. But again, I don't know if, you know, if it would. Okay. A little bit. Come on, babe. My hands today are like, do we have to? Come on. Okay. That's all I'm going to do right now. Taking it too long. And I'm okay. I want a little bit of that water in there because I want this to be thin. Okay, you can spray a little bit more water and then just kind of rub it around. It'll, it'll melt into there. This is a little thicker than usual, but that's all right. Okay. So that's, I'm not going to worry about that little piece right now because I got enough right here and I'm just rolling my brush in all this paint 
and I'm going to do my first tree and I'm going to make it a bigger uh, tree and I'm going to do it. Um, maybe I want the bigger tree first. Maybe I'll do the smaller one first. Oh, why don't we just do one? All right. I'm not going to go into the middle. I'm going to draw it right like this and I'm going to put just a line down like your tree would be. You know, very, very simple, but I want up here to be thinner. So I want it to go thinner. Kind of like that. I'm going to go back into here. And if it's not gliding enough for you, spray it again. Put a little bit more water with a brush in there again. Um, it, it's not going to hurt anything. Just you don't want it to be so watered down that you lose the color. You want it to be about 30%. I think they say that you can go half and half. Um, sometimes I do. It does, it, you know, you won't get color dry. But for me drawing, I don't care. But I, this is, you know, you saw what I did. It wasn't a lot. And then we're going to go. I think I might start down here and just kind of do these leaves, I mean these branches, because I think I just want to do some colored balls on them. <laughs> you know, these are like new age branches maybe. It's all in how you want them and how you, you know, you like it. Trees are one of my favorite things in the world. I would sit and just draw trees all the time because they're so different and they're never wrong. Do you know what I mean? Like you can draw it whatever way you want. And I think that's all I'm going to do on this tree. Okay. So far, because I'm going to put, Oh no, we need something there. Don't we? I'm going to put, um, yeah, I'm going to go like that. Some colored ball on it. You know what I'm saying? And you see how easy so far. And look, we got, already we got the clouds and the background and the cloud so you're getting like dimension you know what i mean you're getting you can put a lot of things in here you want to be really fancy we can glitter this up glitter up the the clouds glitter up the balls you know what i'm saying who doesn't like glitter balls i'm just saying y'all know okay so let's do the next one. Oh, i'm itchy and the next one i think and I want to draw with this so you guys can see a little bit better. This is going to be a smaller one. So I'm going to put just his little, little thing right there. And then I'm going to draw like these different layers to kind of color in. And I want it to be, you know, you want it to, you might want to draw it a little bit if you're like me, because then you end up with like it everywhere. And remember, we're not going for perfection. We're just having fun. So it's kind of like, think of it as a candy cane, right? Okay, so then I can do that and I can paint those green and, and white or whatever I want. And then I can paint a star on top. And I think that's all I'm gonna do. Um, I might, I wanted to do a bigger one, but I think I'm okay with this. I might do a moon. I don't know what I might do. But let's let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. Okay. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna rinse my brush real good and wipe it off because I got brown everywhere. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna paint this first, the white and the green, because the um I, got, I want to put some balls on here as well, and I don't want it to be wet. You know what I'm saying? But I got to find a good green. Good green. Where the green at? That one green must be on the other side, so we'll use this green here. No big deal. Okay. I'm going to go in. And I'm using my little brush. Oh my God, this dog. So sorry. Spyro. La 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 
husband's probably like, what the heck is that noise? It's the dog. Because he's like right below me. Where he should be. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so when he hears that, even though he knows that it's the dog and they do this at night when we're trying to watch a TV and everything else. Oh my God. Let me just tell you this. Some of you might not be interested in this and that's okay. Um, and you can see I did my things a little wacko, but that's all right. I'll just, you know, I'll just fix it when I go for do, to do the white. Um, oh, obsessed. Now, listen, if you have Netflix, let me just say, we watched um, a month or so ago, we watched uh, Luke Cage. So good. Now, Emily and Dave have watched all the other uh, superhero things on Netflix, and I just sat down with them to watch Luke Cage. It was freaking awesome. Loved it. Well, last night we started uh, The Punisher and oh my goodness. So freaking good. Better than Luke Cage. We only watched the first one so far, but I could have stayed up till three in the morning. Um, it was awesome. So if you, you don't even have to like superhero stuff, I guess is my point. And it's so good. So good. So good. I can't stand it. I mean, and there's a lot of good shows on Netflix. Ozarks is one. Um, I loved the series. Dave and I loved the series, the Bloodline um, series on there. That's like family stuff and all that kind of stuff. That was really good. Um, I'm trying to think what else we've watched. We watch so much. Dave and I watch a lot of the chef's table and that kind of stuff. So that's pretty cool. And the white is just like a, I mean, it's like decoration, kind of like, um, Somebody's really calling me, trying to get a hold of me, and I don't know who it is. They're calling and leaving voicemail after voicemail. Ugh. I don't know who the heck it is. All right. And you see how that just kind of turned? Just like that. You see? No harm, no foul, right? Pretty, pretty good. Okay, so now I want to go over here and do some colored balls. You just can't have life without colored balls. So, all right, I can shut this brown because I'll end up losing it. I'm going to take this green. I'm going to add a little bit of water just to kind of reconstitute it because you can definitely do that if you... Um, if it's not all the way dry, you know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I should do the back. Maybe I should get, all right, let me think here. I might need to use the back of my brush for the balls. And I was going to outline them, but I'm, I think I'm changing my mind. All right, so here's some green. I'm going to just kind of rub that like that. Maybe I'll go over this a little more. I like that. Okay. All righty. Wiping that off. And then I'm going to go in with the back of this. And I don't know if it's going to work or I might need a flatter one because this doesn't look very um, ball like. Let's see. Yeah. I mean, it gives you little balls. So, I mean, I guess I can lay some little balls down in green, huh? And you see what I'm doing? I'm just. Plopping the green ball down. And I'm doing like one on every little, you know, in those little crevices and where, you know, where green balls would be. Maybe right here. Okay. Gonna wipe that. My brushes are full of paint everywhere. Who am I kidding? Why wipe it off? Okay, but I'm gonna put that there. Let me show you so far. Not bad. 
And now we need some, gotta have paint balls. I'm gonna just shake this up. I can take it out of the lid, no problem. And I'm gonna take a little bigger brush bag and get that going. And let's see. Okay, not bad. These could be considered light or whatever. I'm not going to do every row because I need to put a couple other colors on there. So it looks joyous. What other color? What other color? What? Um, hmm. How about some light blue? We'll do light blue. And then I should probably put a metallic or something in there. Okay. And this is just, I think, my patina here yeah. color. And if it gives a little, you know, you just go back. Look how cute. I'll have to run some white through there to make it look a little snowy like when I'm done. Uh, you know what I should have done? I should have went in with the pink over here and the blue as well. I don't know why I didn't. So I'm going in with some pink. Um, just laying it down. We'll just do two pink. Because hmm, I'm going to do a star, so can't use green because that would look awkward. Let's use a little of the blue. Oh, that's not going to show up too well. Gonna have to have to add some purple. You know what? Let me hit my autofocus and see if that works better. Um, what was the other color? Maybe light yellow. What about purple? Let's stick with the metallic. Let's find some some shiny metallic color. Um. Yeah, how about some metallic rose? Let's see. I don't want to just do the normal gold, but I might. Oh, or I could use the brushed metal. Mm, I don't know. All right, so this I'm gonna. It's gonna be hard to see now because it's just. And honestly, it kind of just looks like pink. So that was probably a shit idea. Um. What else do I have? I have a million and I can't find them now, of course. Why would I find them now? What would be the purpose of that? You know what you could do, though? Apparently, I, I was into the copper and all that. You can do glow in the dark. Wouldn't that be cool? Having some glow in the dark. Okay, let's see. This is glitter. Let's see about the glitter and it's yellow. Look how cute that looks. Give it a good shake. All right. Wipe the end of my brush off because I don't want it to be that pink. I might have to put this over the pink that I already put in there. Just kind of mix it a little bit. And wipe this off. I'm just putting this on the, not the metallic pink, but the regular pink just to kind of give it a little little glitter you know and then I'll go in and see what I can get with this because I think it will look cute on here yeah oh my gosh my dog I don't know 
how well you can hear it, but I am so sorry. There's nothing I can do. And he has to lay against the the wall, of course, to make everything echo, which makes it a million times worse. But he's so darn cute. What am I going to do? If he's itchy, he has to itch. He probably won't itch the rest of the day, only when I record, but hey. All right, so I'm just kind of going crazy and putting these little doodads on there, which I'm loving. And then I'm going to add some on here. Ooh, I could go crazy with all the glitter. I'm not going to open another glitter up because <laughs> I'll go crazy. But I am going to put the star. Thank you, Spyro. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, what I did do was I put like up here a gold kind of, you know what I mean? To kind of, kind of be a star like thing. I don't know how well you can see this. See? So that is where we're at and I want to do a star. So I'm going to wipe the back of this off. I'm going to take this brush because it has a nice tip. And I'm just going to kind of draw, you know, like I'm drawing a star, but believe me, it's probably not going to look, um, look like I want it to, but that's all right. Yeah. See, cause it's so, I probably should have put yellow down or something, but that's all right. I'm just going to make it look like it's, you know, like, look, we're not a normal tree. We are whatever kind of tree we want to be. And that's what I'm going with. Oh, I love it. Okay. So now I'm going to close this. I am going to take a little bit. Oh my gosh, Spyro. Spy, stop. I am going to take a little bit of white on my uh, brush. Wait, my thing just froze. No, no, if it's going to continue. Ugh. All right, and I'm just gonna gonna take the bulk of it off here and kind of run it down the tree a little bit, just on the brown. I don't want to disturb any of the. Uh, any of the um, ornaments. Sometimes my thing freezes my camera. I've like the worst. I really got to get a new one. Going to get a new one. There we go. Just to kind of take some of that edge off. And we can put if we want a little bit of snow, like a little pile down here and a little pile right there and build it up. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Now that's a little, still a little dark for me. I mean, still a little stark white. So I can, you can always go in and take some more off or add some more, but I think that's all. So I want to, I wanted to do like a moon, but I think I might just leave it be. I think I might just leave it be. You know, I think that's it. And then you could put like a, like, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, you know, oh my gosh, spiral. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to finish this, but obviously you can put, I would like to put a moon. Maybe I'll take a little yellow and do a moon. I have yellow all over the place. I don't know why. I don't know what I did with yellow, but I did something with it. I had a real good time. Okay, so I'm going to take a dry brush. I'm going into yellow. And I'm just going to do, I'm going to probably mix some white in here too. Because it's not, it's not the sun. I wanted this to be a little lighter, but it's okay. I wanted it to have a glow too, but it's not going to glow. Okay, kind of mix it because I want that light color. Yeah, there we go. There we 
here we go, where did it go? I'm gonna go in there a little lighter in the middle. I like to tap it sometimes because it'll cover better when it's still wet. Okay. And that's what I want to do. That's it. That is it. Let me see here. Maybe a little bigger. Should have used my my uh, hole. There we go. My hole uh, guard, right? The thing that helps me draw the circles. There, then I'll put the so it has a little glow to it, but and like I said, you can use glow in the dark paint. Whatever you want. But that is what I'm going to do. That is it. ATC card. A little longer of a video that I didn't necessarily want to do, but it all worked out. So what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Like I said, put your own spin on it. I just like to show you guys, um, you know, ideas, and then you guys take and run with it. And in my group, All Things Creative, they, uh, Susan Bush is running a ATC swap in there every month. So I don't know what their theme is this year. Um, I can't remember, but maybe it's holiday themed or something. And maybe you can, you know, use something like this or the idea and go at it. I love the clouds. I love the way it kind of looks. Um, and I'm not hating on it. So. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Progress, not perfection. We are just having a blast and, and painting and not worrying about any of that kind of stuff. I'm loving your stuff that you guys are tagging me with on Facebook and messaging me. It's fantastic. And I don't know how I got through this video with these animals. Um, I love you guys so very much. Please share me around. I appreciate it. And... Just have a great day, guys. Bye.